Hello everyone. Welcome to ITBK. In today's video, we will learn how to import MS Office or Office 365 ADMX to group policy. Now the question is why we need to import ADMX template to our Windows Server group policy. The answer is that if you want to manage MS Office in your domain environment, then you need to import ADMX templates to your group policy. By default, the group policy doesn't have MS Office templates. Let me show you so that you can understand more better. Let's go to Tools and then go to Group Policy. In the Group Policy, let's create a new Group Policy and name it Face Templates Yo. Right, expand that. Here, you will have that template and group policy object, and let's find that. I just want to show you that currently we don't have any templates related to MS Office or Office applications. Under user configuration, go to policies, then expand the setting administrative templates. Right. Uh, let me try to expand this as well just to clarify you more better okay here we are in administrative template policy definition admx file retrieve from local computer so you can see down we doesn't have any admx templates related to office or office apps right and i have also added google chrome as an admx template here on the server so that i can manage google chrome but i will cover this in next video so once we will import office templates in our server that will come here in the menu down under administrative templates so now uh, let's close this we will come back to group policy to confirm the templates when we add the templates here so let's go ahead and download the template from Microsoft website. Here, let's write download office templates ADMS. Okay. Here at the top, we will get this option to download any ADMX and ADML templates for our group policy scroll little down and you can download button here so we need it for 64 bit so i am downloading here 64 bit let's download it the template will be downloaded to our download folder right i don't want to run this this setup yet okay in the download folder we have this admx template uh let's run this as an administrator click here to accept the social licenses continue in this pc and in c drive i want to create another folder i want to name it admx office and i want to add these admx and adml file to this folder files are extracted successfully let's go to c drive and here we have the folder admx office and we got all admx templates here that's perfect okay we have all these admx uh, templates down here that we need to add to a specific folder that will pick up these ADMX files and that will show up in our group policy. So let's open C drive separately in another tab. Open on a new window. Perfect. Okay. In C drive, go to Windows, then find here the folder policy definitions. Yeah. 
in the policy definitions folder here you will see that we have a lot of admx templates and admx files here right so we need to add these admx templates or file into policy definitions folder so it's up to you if you need to add word visio teams or outlook or any admx file that you want to manage via group policy you could add that but what i will do i will add all these files right for your understanding let's go back to c drive policy definition and paste these admx file here right yeah i got all related admx files into the policy definition folder that's perfect the next thing here is that uh, we also need those language packs right for these files so let's copy all of these files from admx en us folder and go back to policy definition in the policy definition you will also find this enus folder here and let's paste this language pack in the language pack folder of policy definitions also okay now let's go back to the group policy to verify that our admx templates are successfully imported so open the same group policy we have created here for testing purpose and go to edit in the policy section go to administrative templates and that's perfect you can see here now we have all admx templates here outlook onenote excel access word visual teams and we will be now able to manage Office 365 or Office applications from here, right? Now you will get all the settings here, right? Uh, the settings you want to manage, let's say for Outlook, and you can see here you have all related settings to Outlook and all of the options here that you could deploy or manage with group policy so that's it about today's video we have learned how to import admx file into windows server for office applications thank you for watching this step-by-step -step tutorial keep supporting keep commenting and don't forget to subscribe take care bye